Hello, I am Dr. Zenobia James. My macro lesson is instruct and model about common idiomatic sports expressions. Students have viewed a short video of the Eagle Jason Kelsey's championship speech in 2018. Jason used some common idiomatic expressions in his speech. For example, underdog, top dog, hungry dog, clown, best freaking tackle, and bleep him out, to name a few expressions. The students are multicultural students from various regions in the United States and Latin America, and are between the ages of 18 and 24. The language and speaking proficiency of these learners are at the primary or basic level. There are 12 students in the class. The technology used for this micro lesson is data collection and analysis by using guiding questions and vocabulary. The technology allows for significant task design. Class, today we will learn more about sport idioms. I will ask you several analytic questions about you and sports. When you respond to the question, I need you to name the sport, give the idiom for the sport, describe the meaning of the idiom, and then give a sentence using the idiom, and then read it aloud. This allows you to practice speaking English. What are some sports? You like watching and why? James answered. He said he liked tennis. James, why? Ah, oh, because it's fast action sport. And the idiom that you gave us is getting into the full swing. And what does it mean? Oh, yes, you told us it's your decision or responsibility to do something now. And the sentence that James had, it will probably take a month of working at my new job before I get into the full swing of things. We all kind of say that on some new endeavor, a new thing, a new situation that we're in. Jim said his favorite sport is baseball. And Jim, why did you choose baseball? Hmm. He says, because my dad likes baseball. The idiom that goes with us is go to the bat for someone. Go to the bat for someone. Have you heard that before? Hmm. And the meaning? Oh, we defend someone. Now, Jim put it in a sentence. Jane is asking for a wage increase. And I'm going to go to bat for her if the boss says no. Hmm, think about that. Go to bat for someone. Oh, our next one is swimming. I said she likes swimming because it is relaxing. Ah, oh. and what is the idiom? 
for that. Keep one's head above water. Have you heard that one before? Hmm. And what is the meaning? Meaning is try not to fall behind in work or other duties. Let's see her sentence. Her sentence is that we're so busy during the tour season, I can barely keep my head above water. Now, we're coming down to the end of this activity it says, now you will partner with the person next to you and use your cell phone to te te text your answer to these questions on the board. Would you like to play a sport or an activity? What would you like to learn? Which sport idiom are related to the sports that you like? Share your text response with your partner and another classmate. And you can also text your response to your teacher. Thank you for participating in our learning activity today, Dr. Z.